Well, growing up in the north is a, it has its challenges, and you know I've been through a lot of ups and downs throughout my life. Uh, as a young kid, I, I enjoyed playing in the outdoors with all my friends and and understanding why that was was you know obviously living in a household where not a lot is being said away from uh, away from home I realized that you know my friends were dealing with the same issues and on August 28 2002 that day changed my life forever uh, my brother Terrence took his own life and you know through through all the trials and tribulations throughout my career uh, you know that day changed me forever uh, you know I, I was uh, drinking a lot uh, you know doing a lot of uh, you know things that weren't right for for my body and and for me personally it, it, it started to affect my my hockey career and uh, you know now that I've been sober for the last four years it's truly gave me an opportunity to to live life right and understand that um, you know you learn from your mistakes and for me it was about my hockey career and knowing that Terrence wanted me to uh, to pass on his legacy and 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 make sure that you know when when someone you love passes away uh, you, you know that's that's a time to uh, to think deep and, and understand that you know it's 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 not all about them you you gotta you gotta move on you gotta turn the page and yeah it's been tough but at the end of the day you gotta make sure you look after yourself first and foremost and in order for me to do that i, I had to make sure that you know the the drinking part was really taking control of my life and my hockey career and and you know like i said four years ago I became sober and and today I'm sober and I'm, I'm so grateful for that. So uh, in, on August 28th, uh, you know, this date will be always remembered and my brother Terrence left me a note which had three lines, George, go all the way, take care of the family, you are the man. And uh, you know, with, with that note that he left me, you know, Terrence was the kind of guy who motivated you and, and you know, helped me get to that next level. And by those three lines, Jor, go all the way. That was meaning, you know, make it to the NHL. Uh, you know, take care of the family. Uh, you know, I, I love my family to pieces and I'll, I'll go to war for, for any of them. And, you know, he was always a guy who praised me and his last line was, you are the man. And, you know, he was he was a very unselfish person that always enjoyed watching me grow as a person and, and, you know, as a hockey player. You know, every day I think about, you know, how could I better myself, um, you know, to, to prove to him that I'm, I'm doing everything that I could to to keep his name and his legacy on. And, you know, the Tutu brothers will always, you know, be, uh, I, I hold closely to my heart. And, you know, every success that I, I have, I give credit to my brother Terrence. Growing up in the North, you know, I think the, the, the biggest thing is, you know, the community aspect of everyone being close to each other. and and helping each other out uh, you know I could remember as far as I was five years old being out on the land and you know experiencing uh, you know cultural and traditional things through my father and uh, you know I, I still admire you know my being out on the land with my father because this is where he's at his best and you know the, these are moments that you know I I never forget you know, I, in the last 12 to 15 years, I've been living a pretty fast-paced life with my hockey career and, and living in big cities. But every time I, I get home, spending time out on the land is, is 
so peaceful and, and, and humbling and it just brings you back down to earth and, and to realize that, you know, life's not about all about, you know, a, a calendar and a, and a timetable. It's, uh, it's not about cell phones and, and, and social media. Uh, you know, when we're out there, it's, it's about living in the moment um, and, and enjoying each other's company. The title of my book, All the Way, My Life on Ice. I want to make sure that I, I tied in, you know, the, the note my brother left me, which was, George, go all the way. Take care of the family. You are the man. And, you know, my life on ice, this is, this is what I love. My, my passion, my determination, courage, you know, all comes from the stem of how I grew up, you know, mentoring my brother. And, uh, you know, it's something that took a, took a little while to, to make sure that I had all those pieces tie in together. You know, things just don't happen overnight. Uh, there, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, and you know, there's always someone there to, to give a helping hand. Uh, especially in our communities where, you know, everyone knows everyone. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to talk about your problems, but uh, you know, trust me, this is uh, this is something that everyone needs to understand. Is it's okay to to open up and and be honest and and make sure that you know there's always someone there to listen uh, we all like I said before we all are, are battling a fight that no one knows about until you speak up what did you love most about when I proposed to you um that it was a complete shock <laughs> oh my gosh or the ring remember, or, or remember, the ring didn't fit you yeah well remember how how much my dad was like get away from the water I don't want you to be by the water you're gonna drop it I think the most important thing is to know that you have a, a support a support group that you know is always going to have your back. And for me, that's my family. And uh, you know, I can probably count on my one hand, uh, you know, the the people that I'm closest to, and, and you know, not afraid to to talk about any any concerns or any issues that I have. And I I think this is something that our youth, our adolescents need to understand that, you know, people with your, people in your communities are, are battling the same, same uh, problems and, and just have an open mind and, and make sure that, you know, the end result is, is not going to be suicide. I'm, I'm so grateful for this opportunity to, to help raise awareness as this holds near and dear to my heart. Uh, you know, I've started a, the, the Team Tutu Fund to raise awareness for suicide prevention and youth at risk. And let's all together fight this fight that we know we can overcome.